Hey guys, I am testing out something here on my mobile studio pro and uh, I don't know if it's going to work, but um, well, why the heck not? All right, so I am, like I said, I'm uh, testing out doing a live broadcast here on this computer, which is, oh, I got to make sure I lower my volume here. So to read the chat, I'm going to have to look at my phone. This is interesting. This is an interesting way to do stuff. All right, so the only challenge I have is I got to make sure I'm not going to, unfortunately, my, my computer's stopped doing what I wanted it to do. Um, as far as like turning off my Turn off my, uh, okay. so I have here what I think is a young Stanley. Let me know what you guys think if you hear the, if you hear any of the, the, uh, any volume at all. I can't tell if my volume is good. It's like I said, this is part of the, the test to see if this is going to work out. Actually, this is not going to work out so well for me because I got I can't see the chat. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so no chats, and I don't know if anybody's in the room. So all right. All right. So let's just draw. Ah, I don't know why it does that. So this computer is a little quacky. Little per quacky, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. So okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and so I'm basing this kind of like this could be Young Stanley. I'm working in uh, Clip Studio. Is that right? Clip Studio Paint. For those of you who are curious, I got rid of some. This was giving me some hard times earlier, based on some some crazy stuff that was going on. And uh, I don't see anybody in the chat, so. Wonder Stanley becomes a hero. Does he become a hero? Let's see. Um, maybe last one. What if I do in Stanley's glasses? Excelsior, true believers. I wonder if I should do this too. Uh, let's turn that off for a second. Let's uh, share. Share on um, uh, the Twitters. Oh, gee, it, is. it doesn't work the same on the phone. All right, I'll just keep it to myself. <clears throat> there goes my hero. Watch him as he goes. Doo -doo -doo. What's up, Tom? How you doing, brother? Can you hear me okay? There goes my hero. It's his ordinary. Okay, cool. You can hear me fine. All right, cool. Doom, 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 doom. Doom, doom, doom. So I'm doing something different today. I'm working digitally. Just going to try this out for a few minutes. I'm not sure how long it'll go, but um,
The only problem with the digital experience is sometimes I don't feel like I'm getting, I'm connecting to my surface as well. Although this is pretty good. Like it's moving really smooth now. Sometimes if I disrupt it, it'll do something weird. But I mean, his forehead is too gigantic here. Oh, wait. Let's see here. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm going to select this area here. Let's see how this works. Uh, like I said, I don't use this application very much. Oh, geez. Okay. Select. Okay. All right. That's what I'll do here. I'll move this down. Let's see if my Photoshop things work the same way. It's only 2.47 a.m. here. I don't sleep well. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Toom. I'll tell you what, Toom. Just for you, I'm going to do... I'll draw a quick Ghost Rider since you're so faithful. Ah, did it again. Let's give this guy some hair, though, before I go into that. Dun, 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 dun. Check it out. Truth the consequence, say it aloud. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's do that. You know, let's do a Ghost Rider real quick. There goes my hero, watch him as he goes. Mm. Little crappy last year he had. What are we talking about? I like to understand. Yeah, it was unfortunate. Erase, erase, erase. Shucks. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you, man. But, uh, you know, it's got to be hard for anyone at that age, too, to... I mean, yeah, these homes are full of people who have had rough last years, you know? It's such a sad state. So it's so important, you know, we, we remember to take care of family, you know? I mean... I don't know. It's what a shame what happened to, with that that manager or whatever nonsense that was. Uh, let's see here. So it looks like we don't have very many people in the chat, which is fine. That's okay with, with me. Because it's all right with me. All right, all right with me. Oh, scooby dooby dooby dum 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 Senor Ortiz, the melodious sounds of Ellie Fred. <laughs> yeah, I have an autograph Avengers acetate picture, and it feels very, really tainted now. Oh no, don't say that. That's not. That's not. It doesn't have to be like that. How's this grab you, Tim? How's this grab you?
Let's see here. Throw some. Throw some further flame. A bit banjo play hitch? What does that mean? I don't like his teeth. I don't like his teeth either. I'm just giving myself something. Ah! Why does it do that? Why does it do that? Something about my hand being on the screen. Ah! Why is it doing that? <laughs> yeah, I'm only on for a little bit too, Ortiz, so we'll, we'll get to the bottom of this shortly. I just posted a, a video. All right, so uh, the reason why I, I, I called this Remembering Stan was because I also want to do I also want to do some more characters that are, you know, just general dudes. Like I have a character called Red Rumble. Uh, I'm going to try and redraw him. See what you guys think about Red Rumble. Good morning, Sketch. What's going on, brother? Let me see. Here. My battery's running low. Uh oh. Gotta switch tools. Gotta switch tools. And my phone's suitably charged. Just gonna plug in this contraption. It's working good today, Sketch. I'm not sure what's happened here. But it's working well. No, it's not Miracle Man. This is, a, this is a character I created a while back called Red Rumble. He has a bit of Miracle Man in there, I guess. I guess you could say that. And why not? Sure. He's actually a Puerto Rican character. Well, he's a Puerto Rican man. He's also a superhero. Stop it. Stop it, Tomb. Stop it. That's not true. We already debunked it yesterday. <laughs> uh, let's see. Portuguese kind of counts. Yeah, he's half Cuban is what I heard. Yeah, DJD. Nothing wrong with that, you know. 
only only Latin guys are cis, things like that. There's nothing wrong with being half Latino. Yeah, I mean, half uh, Cuban. It's great. It's cool. It still counts. <laughs> I'm so racist. Well, anyway, this is... Uh, And this would be a, a, a sort of a um, family-esque creation. Where is the love? Where is the love? Where is the love? Where is the love? Where is that love? <laughs> Still in the club. All right, let me. Uh... All right, that's cool. Say hello to the night, lost in the shadows. Say hello to the night. We folks, as much as I love to watch a fan draw, I have to do gym time. I have to keep, try and keep him. All right, man, be cool. Like I said, I'm not. I'm gonna only be here for a few more minutes. I think. I think I've already done this for ten minutes. I only want to be on for about ten more minutes. Let's see what happens. But uh, anyway, so this is another character I've I've worked on in the past. So you can see my Bruce Tim, Chris Somni influences in here. Let's get rid of that. This doesn't look good. Let's keep that. Keep it out of there. Keep it out of there. Red Rumble is a New Yorkian teacher from the Bronx who, who discovers a technology in uh, while trying to fix a situation with some of the kids in his from his uh, school discovers that they're been getting involved in some sort of, um, uh, what do you call it? Some, some sort of gang stuff designed around some technology that was stolen from the armory in the Bronx. Kid Silly says, what shapes are you thinking about when you simplify the anatomy? What shapes am I thinking about? I don't know, I don't know how to answer that question with this. What do you mean by that? I mean, circles, I guess? Spheres? Uh, Lost Boys poster print signed by Kiefer and Jason Patrick. Oh, yeah. Say hello to the night. That's it. Lost in the shadows. You know who I, I love to meet? The sax man. I still believe. Be -de -de. Cause I still believe. Man, everything was so hopeful back then. Even the even the punk guys were singing hopeful things like "I still believe." <laughs> uh, let's see. Also got a couple of graphs of the sax guy. <laughs> See, told you, told you. Subpar six is coming. I'm, I'm gonna do something with that. I'm doing something with that. Just right now, I'm just doing this. Just wanna show some people. So this is not, actually not with an original design, but it's part of, part of this morning's design for him. Anyway, so the whole idea is that he's all red. And he calls himself Red Rumble because of that movie Rumble in the Bronx. And because he makes the earth shake. Oh. Feel that? You feel the earthquake just now? Anyway.
Uh, this is my dude. I like this guy. Tim Capella is his name. Sells eight by tens inscribed. I still believe. <laughs> I see Kitsley says, I'm, I guess I meant, what are you thinking about when you go about drawing figures? Mm. Um, well, I, I, I definitely simplify it into animation principles. Um, got the line of action, you know, um, you got, uh, I'm thinking about just simplifying everything to its core. Actually, to be honest, I think a lot about action figures. It's one of the reasons why I love action figures to this day. I still love to collect toys, but mostly the toys that I can, I can uh, manipulate um, with, uh, with a certain amount of, uh, for, for the sake, for the purposes of studying and for the art, like some, some of these toy biz figures work well, not toy biz, but whatever Marvel legends figures, they work really, really well. So, um, um, I like to try to simplify these things into, into simple things like this, you know, in my head, it doesn't always come out like that when I'm drawing, but if you notice, I started with a circle there for the fist and really that's kind of what I have going on there. You know, so I'm trying to, um, you know, trying to, to give, uh, you know, uh, a lot of these shapes. I, I, I plan around a lot of triangles too. Um, so like even the head is a, basically a triangle, right? And then his upper body is a triangle. Um, let me see here. You learn stuff to make your art more dynamic. Yeah, I think you, I think you should. I mean, I, I, it helps a lot. You know, when you're thinking along these lines. Um, and you can pick a lot of this kind of this idea up a lot in how to draw comics the Marvel way, but I think it's expanded upon with Andrew Loomis in his books. So, you know, but you might you you already see a triangle shape here. You know, if, if I was to kind of draw triangles all over the place. You know, that's what you mainly see is another triangle. That's why I don't like just drawing direct shots because they don't always work out so well, but this one seems to be okay. And even this is a triangle shape here and triangle and this creates a triangle. So that's kind of how I go about that as far as the figure. I'm not sure if that answered your question, kid. Be, be, be sure to ask me some more. I mean, I'm happy to share. Ah, come on now. Come on, computer. Don't make me look like a liar. All right, so let's try this. I like doing things. I, I love it when I don't put too much energy in the lines or too much e effort into these lines to give it. Just You just pick the right lines. And this, of course, is a practice thing if you don't practice this you may not know where to put those lines but when you do put the lines down and stuff like this it helps a lot it helps a lot and you get the idea of what you're trying to convey very quickly and it's very satisfying my, my kids use that term a lot it's very satisfying that seems like a this culture is all about satisfaction as a young generation You see a lot of angles and shapes like that. I've been told in the past that the best was about. You actually answered my question pretty good. Oh, good, good. Yeah, so. And then you kind of. So let's take this further. This looks like a fun pose, right? It's like about like Superman's about to lift off or some flying character. Chris says, just seeing you were live, sir. Ethan was playing a cyberfrog game and didn't even notice. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, I saw that he was on too, but I wanted to I wanted to experiment using my my mobile studio for broadcasting. And it's working out pretty cool. I have my phone to show me the, the chat. The only downside is I don't see how long I'm, I've been on. Because I have to I think I have to switch back and forth. Does this tell me? 
I don't think this tells me. I still believe. Wah, wah, wah. Cause I still believe. Da, 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 da. Wah, wah, wah. So I'm gonna get rid of these lines here first because I don't like those lines. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna break my guys back here. Let's do something like that. That's not so good either. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Back or so this way. And then I'm gonna draw through. Just do something like that. This arm doesn't look quite as beefy as that arm does, but let's let's correct that. Right? And then maybe this leg is doing one of these things. Dun da 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 Makes sense. Dun, da, 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 da. Dun, da, 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 da. And just as jacked, is that what you meant? Yeah, yeah. I'm still I still wouldn't mess with him. Oh some 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 something 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 something. I'm watching both of you the second second he get ends the stream, I'm gonna be screaming, yo, go to Ellie Fernandez stream, what's up? <laughs> well don't don't worry about it. you know, it's cool. I can't, I can't stop what he's got going on over there. Don't stop the rock. Does he have a chat over there with the other, other people? Yeah, like I said, this is an experiment. I'm, I'm, I'm mostly concerned about seeing if, if I can do this further. Because I, I like to do this on the go if, as long as my computer's working right. I'm supposed to be having my cable company come out and install a new line here. Why am I even on cable anymore? I don't know. Because my wife likes HGTV, that's why. All right, so that was an interesting idea. Let's try something else. Again, this is, this is a... Uh, This is my love song to Stan. Uh, so let's try. Uh, la 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 la. I'm gonna go ahead and make a new layer. La 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 la. So let's let's keep making small sketches. I, I'm I'm a firm believer. This is something you should do if you're a, a learning. Uh, you want to keep a light touch. You want to do what's called 10-second sketches. Basically, sketches that convey pose and action and, and hopefully even some sort of emotion because um, poses can do that. If you look at um, uh, Will Eisner's book, um, how was it? What was that one book he put together? Uh, comics, what was it called? Oh, man. Comics and Sequential Art, something like that. He uh, did a great job of showing how you can convey emotion through pose. So that's supposed to be a big tool for comic artists. Many of us don't exercise it because we are uh, we're very we're very oriented towards action and, and stuff. Uh oh, there's my cable guy now. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna have to cancel this quickly. Um, but I really appreciate all you guys chilling with me. This was a good experiment. If you guys if you guys want, you can give me a thumbs up if you had a if you had a if the experience was suitable here. Um, you know, uh, and if it wasn't suitable, like what was wrong with this the stream? If you had any problems with the stream, I'd like to know. See like here. Look at this. This pose, and what does that convey? 
Yeah. All right. Here he comes. All right, kids. Thanks so much. I appreciate you. God bless you all and do what you got to do.